Especially when you're an individual that is established and positioned yourself in the community. You can be in the community, but if you don't have the community around you to support you and lift you and to push you and motivate you and, 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 and uh, give feedback and that positive feedback that you need, and also that curricular constructive criticism that a person needs to hear sometimes. We can be good at a lot of things, but if people ain't calling us out on our flaws and they're not calling us out on the good things that we are doing, then we don't know what we're supposed to really do to make ourselves better and to put our community in a different position, right? Yeah. And so when I see everybody in here today, I'm looking at the importance that one individual would need from us, and that's for us to unanimously come together. Because when we all leave here, we leave as individuals, we go back to our own spaces and our own homes as individuals, and it's a gentleman named David Combs who will go back to his dorm, and he will sit and contemplate on how do I do this? And the thing that we do to make sure that he can be comfortable in his position, comfortable in his decision, because it takes a strong person, it takes a strong person to want to step up and take on a situation like this because you're focusing on the bigger perspective of a community. You don't put, approach a situation of being position three and district three as a personal situation. You notice something that's happening in your community and you say that you want to do something about it. And it's very discouraging to attempt to do something and you don't get the love and support that you feel like you need. And by seeing everybody attempt to be here today, I know that I can speak to David and he feels good about this because I feel good about it. <laughs> and I'm sure that everybody else feels good about the things that they're noticing and the things that they're witnessing. I was just in the back and I was listening to a conversation that took place uh, with a friend of mine and Blazing Soul. Karen Dollywall and Blazing Soul was in the back talking. And so the conversation took place about how years ago, a person was on a spiritual journey trying to find an organization or group of people that they can combine their relationships with in a women empowerment movement, right? And so these people met years ago, and it wasn't until today that they came and encountered with each other to figure out that they once had something they wanted to start, and now they're in a position to where they can rekindle that flame and move forward with it. Now, what I'm saying is that had it not been for David to take on this initiative to move forward, that wouldn't have happened. And I've noticed faces that I haven't seen from people I ain't seen in a long time show up here today. Friends of mine that just showed up to say what's up because they've seen us posting on social media. That's community. Us sharing and tagging and posting people that we care about. That's community. And I know that when David sees things like this, it reinstills his confidence to say that he do want to do this because he understands that it's important for us as a community, for him to be in a position because he have our best intentions. David told me about four days ago. He said, Threat, I would like for you to come and be the guest speaker at my event. And I'm looking at all of the multitudes of people that sit in the city of Tacoma that he could have reached out to and had come and speak on his behalf. But he noticed something to me and that encouraged me to be a better person as well. By him inviting me to be the guest speaker at his party lunch, that's powerful to me. And that lets me know that he sees something in people. And so when he sees something in collectives of peoples, and he want to do something about it, so whatever he's seeing good in me, he see good in everybody else, and that's why he's taking this choice move forward with it. He said, Fred, when I walk out of my building, over at the t-shirt shop, he said, I walk out of my establishment and I can look to the left and I see people's part. I see homelessness. I see drug abuse. I see kids playing. I see people wandering. I see people communicating, hopping on the bus, hopping off the bus and transit. I look across the corner and see a gas station. And if anybody knows anything about your local gas station, the gas stations are active. Whether it's productive activities going on or whether it's negative activities going on, the gas stations are active. And he said, I can look to the right and see straight down the block. And I see businesses. It's a big difference when a person wants to do something as an individual. But when you're a homeowner in the city of Tacoma, when you're a small business owner in the city of Tacoma, when you're a person that's involved in your community in the city of Tacoma, I see these brother walking his dogs, engaging with people, saying hey to people, stopping at people's businesses, and they shop just to see how they're doing. He notices something. And whatever he struggles with as a businessman, he has the awareness that other businesses are struggling with the same similar situations, which puts him in a perspective to want to do something about it. But I'm saying the main thing that he's going to need for us today is not to just show up today, not to just say this is a good kumbaya moment, 
to exercise on these moments that we can say that we done met people, we done seen people we ain't seen in a long time. It's a bigger picture than that. We have somebody that wants to do something on our behalf, and he's gonna need all of us to work together. You don't have to be from the city of Tacoma to be a part of what needs to be happening in the city of Tacoma. If you're not from Tacoma, you have friends that live in this District 3. Reach out to your friends and encourage your people to get involved if they live in this area. I ask that we have people like ourselves up here, and that doesn't mean black people. It doesn't mean a person of color. That means a person who wants to have the best interests of the people, integrity. Because there's people in position that are of color and they're still not doing nothing for the community. Mm -hmm. So, when we move forward, Kim Archer had three concepts that she brought today. And I can remember two, but I'm going to share that. <laughs> two that I remember. <laughs> Just the two of us. And what the two of us mean, when I observe the two of us, I'm looking at us as a community and David as an individual. Okay? Just the two of us. As a community, and an individual that want to do something, this is how we make that thing happen. When you call me, I'll be there. David called out, we showed up, we're here. And so what I ask is, we're calling out to him because we want to see something different. And he's going to be there. The whole end of her, her third segment that she had was about friendship. This is not just about business. This is not just about friend, uh, a community. This is about friendship. And we're actually building something here. My downfall that I had is that I believed for a long time that me voting or me putting my two cents in is going to amount to something. I never believed that it would. But then I start to check myself and say, now that I see the things that are happening in the city of Tacoma, I should at least attempt to do something. I should at least vote it to see what would happen, even if it didn't turn out my favor. I should have done something. And so while we are here, I'm asking and I'm challenging everybody that's in here. When we leave here today, don't just leave here because we have to make something happen. Something has to transition, and something has to be in our favor as the people of the community. There's things that have been set in place that probably won't change. But if we don't do something to put somebody in a position that can still have our better interests, then the situation is going to be way worse off for us than we can possibly imagine. So even though things are in place, let's do our part by voting for Mr. David Combs, because I want to see him as District 3 City Councilman of the Position 3, to do what we believe needs to be done, and the same thing that we want to see done is the same thing he know that he has the strength to do so if he had our support. So, I wish you 100% wrong. Yeah. Everybody's kind of waking up. You know, everybody's waking up and getting more informed of what's going on in the world of politics. And when I look around the room and I look at the faces, I can tell that you guys have woken up too. You know, we got to come together. Like Greg said, we got to come together as a community, as a whole, and fight to keep the destiny of our city in the hands of the people that work hard, work hard for it. You know, we got to come together and make our voice one. Make sure that the people who are in the position of power hear our needs and hear what we have to say. I've been to a few city council positions meetings and I've seen people go up there and almost plead and beg for the city council just to hear what they're saying. You know, and what I took away from that is that people are tired. People are tired of that feeling of not having a voice. No, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of looking out my shop window or looking out the car, my car window as I drive home and seeing all the changes that are going on in the community 
And I hear people from afar saying, oh, look, look at the hilltop. All the changes are going on. Look at all the progress. Hilltop's coming up, you know? But if they just took a closer look past that one if they looked at L Street, if they looked at J, if they looked at I, they would see that there's real problems and real issues that are affecting the people of the community on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, problems like homelessness, problems like the affordable housing crisis, Problems like the LNG plant that's getting built down on the port on tribal land against the tribal wishes. You know, these are the things that are going to affect us. Now, when I run or when I become city yeah. councilman, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I want to seek to build equity. Okay? In building equity, we have to focus our efforts on the most marginalized people in our community. I like to say that when everybody benefits in our community, everybody benefits. Yeah. Right? There's people that are in our community that are suffering. And we need to focus our efforts on, on long-term viable solutions that are going to put those people at the same. Right? Like I said, I'm tired. I'm tired of not having a voice. So one of the things, one of the reasons why I decided to run for city council is because I wanted my voice to be heard. I wanted not just my voice to be heard, but I wanted the voices of my, the people in my community to be heard. Because as I go out and I listen to everybody and I listen to their issues, we're, we're talking about the same things. But every time I have these conversations, it's very enlightening and, and almost revolutionary. But only because the people in power aren't saying these same things. It's the people in the community. And when you think about that, there's this disconnect. So. We have to get people in the positions that are going to represent the people in the community. We need representation. You heard Kim Archer say, representation is key. We need people to have seats at the table where the decisions are being made in order for us to not get left behind with all the change. Because in reality, that's what's happening. So like I said, there's a shift. And we're all waking up now. This launch and this campaign is just the first step, guys. This is the first step in a long, long journey, a long, long fight to get what we want, all right? This past year in the local elections, only 16% of our population came out and voted. That was the one that elected our mayor. 16% out of 211,000 people. I don't know the math of that, but that 16%. <laughs> so that's very problematic, and those numbers need to increase drastically. If you think about the demographic of that 16%, those people don't have the same interests as, as you and I. Okay? So what, one of the things along the campaign, along the campaign is what we, we want to do is the whole community events to have young people come and register to vote, unregistered voters to come and register to vote. Because there is power in voting, guys. You know, especially at the local level. Mm -hmm. We all can be mad at Trump all we want. Yeah. But the people who are making the decisions that actually affect our lives are at the city council position. Yeah. Right now, those people that are in power don't have the same interests as us. So we got to come together as a community, play the game, vote, get our voices heard, and mm -hmm. keep pushing it from there. All right? So when we leave today, guys, I want you to take the same energy, all right? Tell people what you've experienced here today. Tell people what you saw here today. Get the word out. Make sure you guys get out and vote. Inform yourselves of what's going on in the community, especially in Tacoma. There's a lot going on that's going to affect each and every one of us. All right? And if it's not going to affect us, it's going to affect our kids. It's going to affect our kids' kids. Okay? So we who are here today, who made the effort to face the rain and face all this construction, we are the ones who are going to need to continue this fight. All right, guys, I want to thank everybody here today, like for real, from the bottom of my heart. Y'all made me hella happy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Kim Archer. I want to thank Fred. I want to thank Jessica of Blazing Soul. You know, a lot of the people that have helped out today have just, and I want to thank Image 360. A lot of people that have helped out today have, have volunteered or donated their services, which has been very beneficial to us. So along the road, guys, like I can only call it so many favors. So from here on out, I need you guys to
to show your support by volunteering, show your support by getting the word out, and show your support by donating. Like I said, I can only call in so many favors and this campaign trail is going. So I don't want to keep you guys much longer. I want to thank everybody, every single person for coming here today. We need to continue to fight, continue to fight, and continue to fight. This ain't just for me, y'all. Bro, I didn't do this for me. I did this for everybody. Everybody in my community. I see what's going on, and I want to make a difference. So join me, take action, and let's change Tacoma for the positive, y'all. Thank you. Yeah.